Hello friends, these days we eat so much mushroom. Yesterday we exactly eat so much, so much reeds and I hope that I will be healthy but I really get enough of mushroom. So today we come to the forest and then we will walk in the forest but uh, we change the subject today. We want to learn some knowledge about trees because in, in general we don't pay so much attention about trees but you know that trees are very important in the forest of course and it's very important for mushrooms so today we try to tell you and figure out by ourselves what tree is related to what mushrooms and and i'm not in i'm not very familiar with trees but uh, standing with me together this one is the oak which is a favorite tree of some kind of mushroom, yeah? Which one is it? Bolet. Bolet. Yeah, you're right. I know it. <laughs> so this is an oak. What do you think about oak? It's very strong. Well, I like the shape of the leaves of oak. Do you like it? No? Find the leaves for you. There's no, <laughs> no whole piece like this. No, there are many, what is this, curves? On the leaves. Yeah, you can cut yeah, like this. Very nice. All right, this is beginning of our autumn walk in the forest with the trees. We will see how many trees can we recognize today, and this is a mission. At least ten. Mm. Oak is the first. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. tree has very beautiful pattern look. I think it's so beautiful nice. yes this tree's name is horn beam common common horn beam and this is his leaf wait a minute let's see the tree first these trees are everywhere in this forest yeah, they are, they are quite common, but not the most common in this forest, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't, didn't we find all our bullets mostly around these trees? No, mostly around other trees which grow together and they are, grow, are growing around here as well. Okay. Look at that tree. Is it the same pattern? Yes. Look, look, it's so beautiful, the pattern. <laughs> Really, you like it? Yeah. It's kind of similar it's to an oak. It's a quark or something? What? Similar like oak, kind of. It's just not more flat. You not know, so I really deep. don't look at trees in general. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but today, specif specifically, look at those trees. The, the, this body, what is the name of body? Trunk. Trunk. It's the really second class mushroom grow around these trees. The brown wool. So we call it um, 剑手金 in Chinese because uh, it literally it means that when you your hand touch the mushroom it turn blue. So mm. touch your hand turn blue mushroom. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the other one here, the white one. White one. I suppose it's a different. But it indeed is. Has a lot of quark. It does. What is the name of this tree? I don't know. White birch tree. White birch? Yeah. What does it mean? White is white. Yeah, what is the birch? Birch. I don't know. They just called, named it like this. So, what does this tree do in the forest? Where well, it grows. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, who like it? All type of our so-called second class brown bullets and uh, red ones, white ones. So which is his leaf? I yeah, try to find. Okay, fine. Of course, this is not the natural color because it's autumn. All the trees of all the trees normally during the season they are, they are green. Yes. 
green like like this green but because it's autumn so the trees are falling down and they have all type of nice colors yeah but the shape is from this tree okay this is like a diamond shape diamond shape yeah and uh, there are some hedge yeah the, like a like a soul blade in poland the autumn is really beautiful the all the leaves fell on the ground and so thick on the ground mm -hmm. so you cannot see mushrooms so easily mm, but when you step on the leaves and so soft you know okay. so nice and you can hear like the sounds of walking okay so what is this tree let me tell you this name is silver fear Look, so many ants here. There must be some sap which attract them. Yeah, the ants are definitely looking for some. <laughs> they are falling down constantly. So funny. The ant in Poland is so big. No. Yes, they are big and they bite. Come they on. They climb to my feet and bite me and it's really stinky. Stinky. <laughs> what, what should I say? So anyway, so this is our this first is tree today tree. with the needles. Yeah, this needle tree and some mushroom like the needle tree. For example, our reed. I just find one here. Very big reed. And uh, there are different type of reeds. Uh, the English name is milk cap. Mm. So the, the juice is like milk, orange milk. So. <laughs> milk cap yeah but we talk they... about trees today <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so they have different kinds of milk cap and they really related to different needle trees so apparently this tree can nourish this type of milk cap yeah that's true is it is it is it nice to touch these needles yes it's nice okay the leaves are very solid these trees can grow really, really high. Maybe later we find a bigger, bigger example. This is a proof that Poland is a cold country. Cold country? Because a needle tree likes to grow in the cold weather place. Ah, that's your opinion, I guess. <laughs> Not my opinion. Let's go look for another one. Another what one? This is a big example of silver fear. Hey. I'm so small. <laughs> Look at this tree. There's a lot of these small branches, but the board already. Like all, all like so many needles standing on the tree, right? And the leaves of these trees are also needles. It's a needle tree. What is the name? The name is European larch. And the fruit is like this. Cutie, cutie Christmas decoration. Mm. Where are the needles? They lost them. All the needles are here. All the needles. Every year. They lost the needles for the winter. Oh my god. These needles are so nice. They are so soft. Nice, like a fur. Alright, let's go. Let's go. This is a whole forest of silver fear. And it's wide open place. And the ground are so soft. A mattress of needles. Bullet really likes silver fear. For example, da da. We really didn't expect to find any mushroom today, but we're just so lucky. Okay, we, we see, we show the wider perspective. How they really like to grow in this open forest. Yeah. All right, take it. Yeah. 
this is pros. The needles are like this. They are different <laughs> from silver fir. They grow in different directions and the leaves are very spiky. And the bark are different from the silver silver fir. That is silver fir. Yeah, the, the best example is there. Mm. So anyway, it's this more... This is a young one. And we can we can take a pieces of bark Don't without any problems. Don't kill it. It will die. So which one is a Christmas tree? I don't know. Saban. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all of them can be Christmas. That's true. In Poland, people people can use all of this, both the species as a Christmas tree. Of course, not not taking out of the forest, but from the from the you know the farm. Plant. Yeah. You should know. You, you should not. You, you don't. You should not ask me because Chinese people don't celebrate Christmas. Okay. Here we have nice example of silver fee as well, the big one. Let's go and touch it. Very good. Very reliable. More reliable than any human being. I agree. <laughs> Listen. I don't know what it's supposed to mean, but okay. The sound is nice. The sound is nice. This is a pine. Pine himself. <laughs> Look at the bark here. And on the lower part of the trunk, there's no branches. You can see the branches are on top. And they're kind of a little bit reddish. Of the a little bit more orange here. Yeah. And this is a fruit. This is a fruit of a normal pine. Yeah? And this is a fruit of a silver fir. They are different, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have yeah. Yeah. this mosquito. Hi. Right. Do you like pine trees? I always like pine trees. Pine trees. Uh, one of the only few trees I can, I can recognize. Mm. <laughs> they are very common in Poland. Also in China. They are. They have a soft wood. They soft. don't need a good ground. They they just grow on the on the sand, pretty much. Yeah, you know the multiple layer of the bark remind me of Napoleon the dessert. Oh, okay. Crunchy, crunchy. Look, you have to film on, on this side. You can see many layers of this bark. You find a big pine among all the other trees. They really stand out. Yeah, it's, it's quite a big one. Oh, we cannot see the top. Can anybody climb up? <laughs> oh yeah, the experts. Yeah, with yeah. normal shoes? No, I don't think so. They have a proper equipment. I always dream that I can climb trees one day. Really? Because I didn't climb too many trees when I was trying. <laughs> you can see the needles of the pine tree here. What do you think about these needles? They are long. And they smell very nicely. <laughs> they do. This is a big red oak. The leaves look like this. Very similar to a real oak, but it's different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And here's the tree. Yeah. Come closer. A, this one is a big one. So it's more smooth than the normal oak. The common oak. Mm -hmm. And here are the the nuts, fruits or whatever, however it's called. From this tree? Yeah. The normal oak has also this. But nut. not so thick, more elongated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are falling from the trees now. Mm, be careful. It kind of looks like we have a normal oak here looks like. 
and the bark is much, you know, the, the, it has much deeper cuts. Interesting. Maple. Look. Maple's leaf is like a palm. A palm. <laughs> I thought maple they, the leaves turn red in autumn, but this one doesn't. I think it, it will, it's just turn. early. But we yeah. have a younger one with all the leaves. Let's see the leaves because they are look really nice. Actually, huh? come on, this is just the highest peak. This one is lower and it's greener. Yeah, yeah. Easy. <laughs> yeah. easier to film. What do you think about this tree? Yeah, the leaves are cute. Cute. Yeah. Not very common in Poland. No? No. I, I like it. Alright, so we have another one. How many trees do we have already? Nine. Nine? Hmm. It's quite a lot. Hmm. Let's look for the last one. What is happening? This is my honey. My honey. What this is, is the biggest tree we have ever seen today in this forest. His name is Fitch. Very smooth, saucy bark. It is everywhere in the forest. And mm. our mushroom like it. Yes. This is so big, this one. How do they, the leaves look like? The leaves look like just like this. Just like this? Yeah, just like this. Yeah, this is when they are so young, so small, and uh, after years they will as be as big as this one. Can mm. you imagine? Mm. The magic of the nature. So this is the last tree we see today. Today we found 10 trees. I think even 11 maybe. Mm. Well, of course we find more than 11 trees. <laughs> so, but this video is not a teaching video. This is a video for us to learn the forest. Mostly I learned a lot today. I came to live in Poland, but I know very little about this place. This environment the forest which i found so many mushrooms i want to know more about them <laughs> so yeah i like this forest and like all the trees i hope next time i i will know all of them i will know the who is who <laughs> so i will have different different pages <laughs> i we have to go because just in the end there's a little bit noise in the forest there is some team of people riding the Motorfans. motorbikes. They, yes, there are some slopes there, and Cross they, motor. they are driving, practicing. And so just to it's an exciting sport. But and you don't want to do it. How do you know it's exciting? <laughs> you will know. You will not know. Maybe in, in one year I will try to do it. Shall see. Anyway, just to finish our video today mm. about the trees, yeah. you have to say which tree is your favorite one. Yeah, it's a very difficult question for me because I, uh, you know, I don't like to make decisions. So that's why I find a husband who can make decisions for me. You know, this is very important. We don't want to talk about this today. We talk about trees. Yeah, I cannot make decisions. Now you have to. 
Oh. I like all of them, you know. In the beginning, you said that it's your favorite one, this horn tree. Yeah, did I? <laughs> okay, I we see. We don't want to make trees jealous of each other. I don't think that they have feelings like this. <laughs> yes, yes, they do. They have spirit. Spirit. They have feelings. Don't hurt them. To be honest, the beech tree is a very great competitor of this horn tree. Yeah, I like the big, strong trees. Reliable. Okay, so you're home today? Yeah, let's go. I think it's a one of the last so warm days this year. Oh, we don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Bye-bye.